when you listen to the clock, you hear a sound, right? By second. It clicks every second. That means we are getting closer to the time of the death. That is a fact. Which means the length of the life is decreasing by second. That means the chances of doing something good, something meaningful in this life, is also decreasing. And there's no really way to add that or <coughs> lengthen it. But it decreasing not only when you are conscious, but also when you are not conscious. While you are in sleep, when you are not you know, doing anything, you cannot pause it. Say, I'm not working now, I'm going to sleep. Let's pause it. There's no way to do that. So it's decreasing non-stop. Right? Do you agree? But our plan usually, we have more and more plans. Right? We have to achieve something and we may gain some satisfaction. But that satisfaction lasts only a very short time. And immediately we will create another project in front of us in the distant. So we are again not in the present. We are, your mind is in the future rather than the present. And you have something to fear and worry about. So that keeps us busy. Busy means less chance to look at ourselves, less chance to meditate. Again, it depends individual on individual. Some people, it depends on how you set the priority. Uh, even you are busy. If you set the meditation, the spiritual practice as your first priority, then you always have time. If you set it as your last priority, then no matter what, you have no time. The fact that you all are here means no matter what, you took the time to practice and learn. And that is very good. In the midst of this ever-decreasing life, you took the chance, you took the opportunity to learn and practice.